I think at this point it's clear that everybody understands that corruption is one of the most important problems in every country. It's pretty much at the top of the list in terms of the issues that citizens complain and uh, pretty much at the top of the list in terms of the frustrations that citizens have. But while there's agreement on this issue, there's not a clear-cut agreement about what are the costs of corruption. I think the first thing I'd like to say is that a lot of people don't really understand that corruption is far, far more than you know, cash in a brown envelope. Corruption is not a victimless crime, and we all are victims of it. Corruption does more than anything else uh, to destroy um, the very essential relationships in society that are needed to have peaceful, uh, harmonious, uh, development uh, in a society. It undermines the very glue that holds a society together, uh, where you know you, you, you cannot trust each other, and you know, uh, when, when you can't trust each other, even doing simple things becomes extremely difficult. The institutional costs of corruption are also important, and you cannot measure that in figures. You measure that in a successful future for a country, a future full of opportunities for people to work, study, and live in freedom. I think if you're looking at the destruction of the world's rainforests, the illegal fishing of the world's oceans, the wildlife trade, all of these things involve criminality, and corruption. So virtually every environmental crime you see is a crime of corruption at its root. Corruption is, uh, I would say, at the heart of our failures as society. You can think about, for instance, the fires at the Bangladeshi textile industry. Everything was okay, certifications were signed and given to the owners, but nothing was in place in case of fires. And the result was lots of people dead. That's a huge, huge cost. You can think about the Beirut blast, for instance, with parts of the city completely destroyed, which is not only infrastructure, it was the apartments of people and, of course, the very tragic thing of lives that were lost because of the blast. That's the cost of corruption, not the amount of the bribe paid for a certification without doing the proper controls. The cost is people's lives and people's possibilities. Corruption is a problem for all of us, all of the citizens, and we must all work to, to tackle corruption. It's time for a reboot, and I think that is underway, and it's being driven by the indignation and anger of young people. At the World Bank, we are, among other the several things, working on three different parallel channels. One, we are obviously discussing how to strengthen institutions and how to strengthen trust in government. On the second hand, we are uh, still working on the old-fashioned cost of corruption and trying to fine-tune the cost of corruption at the micro level, at the sectorial level. But uh, we are really interested in trying to kick off a conversation about what are these other costs of corruption, the ones that they imply and have costs in terms of the social contract, etc. This is pretty much a work in progress. This is kicking off an internal debate, quite interesting. People are passionate about it. We would like to invite you to join this conversation.